This is All India Radio. In the program Spotlight, now we bring you a discussion on climate change issues, challenges for tomorrow. The participants are Dr. Srikanth K. Panigrahi, Director General of Indian Institute of Sustainable Development, and Chetan Chauhan, journalist. Today we are discussing COP26, which is started in Glasgow. Prime Minister Mr. Narendra Modi has just landed in Glasgow. He will be addressing the conference today in the evening. This is the day after the G20 summit where the climate change agenda was discussed elaborately and all the countries decided that they will reduce emissions or check emissions. Dr. Panigrahi, what you will expect from the Glasgow COP summit? Chetan, COP26 has come in a very period of transition where the whole world has a lot of expectation out of this conference of parties in particular. Due to COVID, we could not organize it last year. And so now the new hope has come. ARCC, IPCC, AR6 also has come. Now the planet is uh, struggling hard. We have 1.2 degrees centigrade temperature above the pre-industrial level, which is uh, not a very positive sign. And when 1 degree centigrade uh, temperature increases, about 30% of negative impact, the air pressure belts, the water pressure belts, ocean currents, and the impact on biodiversity in terms of extinction of species or getting them endangered, all those kind of negative impacts takes place. And it has been uh, agreed and decided scientifically that we should be very careful. In No, in any case, we should not let global temperature to increase above 1.5 degrees centigrade than pre-industrial level. But now we are at 1.2 degree, which is uh, 1.5 is not very far. Kyoto Protocol, as you know, the developed nations, the NX1 countries are were expected to do more. They committed a lot, but unfortunately, none of them could able to keep their promises, and uh, hardly 12% of their commitment is was achieved. And uh, also in uh, Kyoto Protocol, the problems of technology transfer and finance was key issues. And uh, now it has been decided uh, the world is uh, getting hotter and hotter. And uh, we don't have any time left to fight among ourselves. Let the rich and poor and uh, underdeveloped and developed, all industrial countries all come together and pledge what the best we can do in uh, Paris Agreement. And in uh, Paris Agreement, all the countries came with INDC, Intended National Determined Contribution, which became NDC after got approved in the uh, Paris Agreement. And then, as you are aware, there is also a call for ambitious NDC and to enhance the commitment so that uh, we can restrict uh, global warming less than 1.5 degree by the end of this century. India has its very aggressive commitment and uh, we have committed highest uh, quantum of uh, renewable energy in our energy basket and particularly energy from non-fossil routes and uh, the COP is uh, here and India has historically played a leadership role in uh, climate change. We organized COP8 in New Delhi in a very big way. So along with India, all other 199 countries are participating in Glasgow. We have a lot of expectation. Dr. Pani Rai, around the world, people are expecting a lot from Glasgow, but in Glasgow, no new agreement is to be signed. We have to make it clear, it is only to operationalize the Paris Agreement, which was to be done last year, but could not be done. But the very crucial issues which are on the table, one is the climate finance, uh, the developed world had committed 100 billion US dollars per year by 2020. As per the latest date from the UN, only 80 billion US dollars per year has been given, which includes all the money which is coming, even including the private sector aid from different agencies, which is much, much less than one expected. Developing world has been asking that at least 100 billion from the public funds from the rich country should come, the private money which is coming through investments should not be included into that. And climate finance is one of the big issues because the technological transfer which was supposed to happen has not happened. The GCF which was set up after the Paris Agreement has also not taken up in a way it should have been because of dearth of funds. Now we see that in GCF the money has been tied up to declaring net zero by different countries. 
and net zero is one of the biggest debating points in uh, glasgow almost about more than 100 countries have given a net zero target most of the rich countries they have given the target year of 2050 china but 2060 is saying they will achieve net zero but the latest ipcc report which has come indicates that if we go by net zero by 2050 achieving 1.5 will be impossible two degree would also be difficult at the present ndcs we are heading towards 2.7 degree a temperature rise of the pre industrial level by turn of the century dr pani gahi the dangers are huge so in the glasgow first i would like to ask on the climate finance because it is one of the biggest issues because we are not historical emitters and historical emitters have shied away from paying for the pollution that they have caused Yes, the Indian Minister Bhupendra Singh Yadav also reiterated that climate finance is the key major issue, along with the technology transfer issue. The developed nations are equipped with climate-friendly technologies, which is indispensable for developing world and underdeveloped world. And uh, the IPR and other kind of bottlenecks and uh, are blocking the flow of technology. I, being a member of the steering committee of the TIFAC, we have estimated which kind of climate technology India will be needing. by 2035 and uh, by 2050 we have our indigenous technologies which will help to a greater extent to neutralize our own emissions but in addition we also will expect a lot of technology to flow to india uh, so far as montreal and uh, kyoto is uh, concerned very technology transfer was one of the major condition which is uh, very poorly has taken place uh, for the developing countries and uh, particularly in the case of india and uh, technology transfer is uh, very closely involved associated with uh, climate finance and climate finance is the very basic and as you told 100 billion per year commitment is not added to and now it is not only climate change climate change uh, biological diversity conservation desertification they are all integrated and uh, we need to have a very aggressive climate action we need to take as you told the 2.7 degree by the end of the century nobody will survive so for which uh, finance is the key india in its indc document and ndc document has uh, told about climate justice raise the issue of carbon space uh, india's right over per capita carbon space if anybody is taking birth in a developed nations is not uh, having more rights over the resources of the planet and also the rights to pollute more and generate more greenhouse gases to create more global warming than a developing country like that of us and historically since they have already emitted more and now we are in trying to improve our quality of life our aspirations are coming in and we have equal right over the carbon space to the extent they had in the past and uh, they have already occupied dr manigray as you said climate justice prime minister narendra modi has spoken about it extensively in the paris conference also is subsequently in all the conferences india has reiterated that climate justice has to be one of the pillars of any climate deal or climate negotiations and equity which is one of the most founding pillars of a un convention on climate change but we have found that in the negotiations in the deals the climate justice and equity has just found a passing reference in the real documents or in the real agreements to operationalize these agreements and the equity and climate justice has been missing and one of the key for this is loss and damage which is a compensation mechanism the rich countries have to pay to the developing countries for the loss because of climate change induced disasters which is stuck since uh, also a uh, summit in 2013 it is exactly. almost 9 years so if you can tell us more about why the climate justice and equity is so important for climate negotiations at glasgow it is extremely important at this point of our in particular because we have our limitations irrespective of that we have very aggressive commitments in our ndc and india is uh, still performed well so far as uh, our commitment till 2020 is concerned and 
climate justice is extremely important uh, to ensure the flow of the technology with a reasonable cost uh, which we can bear and uh, also the kind of the climate finance which will enable us to take aggressive climate action to make it happen and it is not in the case of india it is uh, very important for g77 it is important for all island state uh, nations it is uh, very important for all the developing nations and uh, indian prime minister along with uh, uk prime minister and australian prime minister is announcing uh, to support uh, 10 million each for the 58 island state nations for their uh, disaster infrastructure which will happen tomorrow and uh, we being a developing country irrespective of our limitations we are committing to support and lend our hand to others and the developed nations and industrial nation who has already taken the a larger chunk of carbon space uh, must keep their own words and uh, let the climate finance which they have assured should flow and also the technology should flow with affordable cost dr panigre the one important issue which will be discussed in glasgow is the carbon markets article 6 of the paris agreement speaks about setting up carbon markets are something similar to what was CDM. the clean development mechanism in uh, the kyoto protocol but this one will be slightly different because they want to make it more universal and how much money will come through it they want to cover the aviation sector the shipping sector to big emitters of carbon in this which was not there in the cdm so yes, you what are, is the importance uh, the larger focus this time is uh, maritime sector aviation sector and uh, fashion sector these three sectors uh, carbon accounting has been done but uh, no aggressive climate action has been taken to reduce the emission in these sectors which is about roughly 22% of the total emission profile of the greenhouse gases emission of the globe the uh, maritime and aviation sector 11% another 11% uh, is fashion sector so that will be largely taken over and uh, we need to have the aggressive policies to make appropriate action for the drastic emission reduction in these sectors the carbon debate so far cd the common but differentiated responsibility one of the important factors which india is speaking about which even the environment minister in the basic statement today said but what sort of a result are you expecting from glasgow in cvdr is uh, right from the beginning of the climate change negotiation cvdr is the basics on which the entire negotiation is rotating say it kyoto protocol say it paris agreement so india is reiterating it again and again so the i expect the negotiation should again make developed world realize and all the nations uh, now there is hardly any time left to debate and fight among ourselves it is the crucial time to save ourselves to protect ourselves our home is at danger so all needs to come and uh, there has to be rights and the affordability of the nations has to be taken into account and uh, there should be a very cordial negotiation then only we'll say the negotiation is uh, successful and so we all are optimistic that very positive things are will come out and it is very important at this particular time let us see and watch Dr Panigrahi we will have a higher emission reduction from a voluntary emission reduction from the rich countries i expect 80 to 90% if we have to meet the 2 degree goal or 1.5 degree goal because if we reduce 70 to 80% we are at 2 degree if we reduce 90% then we are at 1.5 degree countries like india china have also to take lot of action on this and i expect the prime minister will today announce some action on climate change in his speech at the summit it was really enlightening to speak with you thanks a lot dr panigri thank you chetan you were listening to a discussion on climate change issues challenges for tomorrow the participants were dr shrikant k panigrahi director general of indian institute of sustainable development and chetan johan journalist this program was produced and presented by the news services division of all india radio you can listen to it on our mobile app news on air This program is also available on our YouTube channel News on AIR Official. You may email your opinion about this program at airnsdtalks@gmail.com. At